You have mountains in your scene and you want to texture them. Just apply this material and there you go. Want more snow? Add more snow. You want the grass to be green? Just add green grass. You want the snow to be gone? Remove the snow. Now before we talk about how this works, here's a little warning. This shader is not always this shader is not going to give you photoreal results. If you are really into landscape creation and you work with Gaia or World Creator, this is not for you. If you're a game developer and you're looking for performance, then look somewhere else. But if you're like me and you are lazy and you like quick and dirty results, then I think this video is for you. The shader is designed to work with static meshes. So it works with any mountain, no matter if you made it yourself or you got it from Sketchfab or any other place. Just please don't tell me in the comments to use the landscape tool. I hate that and I'm not gonna use it. Once you downloaded the Unreal project, this is what you get. A folder with my name on it. A folder you should only touch if you know what you're doing. Three static meshes of mountains and a landscape, some very basic textures and two material instances. Let's apply the first one. Now double click on the shader to play around with the settings. The main settings are blend bias and blend sharpness. The blend bias more or less controls how much of the texture you see on the mesh. It's really hard to explain, so just play around with the settings until you get a feeling for it. The blend sharpness controls the hardness of the transition from one texture to the other. Just with the blend bias, it's best to just play around with the values until you get something that you like. Further down, you have the options for tiling. The shader uses texture bombing nodes, so the repetition of the tileable material shouldn't be obvious. The closer you move the camera to the mesh, the higher the tiling should be. The most interesting option here is the tiling of the normal map, because the normal map also serves as a kind of mask for the transition between the textures. The most fun part of the shader is probably this one. You can simply use the textures that come with the shader, or, and this is what you should do, use textures from Megascans. Experimenting with different rock, grass and snow textures can give you extremely different results. So make sure to look for textures that suit the needs of your project. Now you might ask, how can I change the normal map? Well, making the normal map a parameter was causing weird glitches. So in order to change it, you have to open the parent material and change it right here. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. If you have suggestions on how to make the shader look better and more real, let us know. Feel free to use the shader on whatever project you like and modify it and just do me one favor. If you like this video, make sure to watch this one next.